So in Java, I'm going to demonstrate constructors, getters and setters, and the toString method. So here I've got a class called car. Um, now, let's think about what the properties of a car might be, and I'm going to make some private uh, properties. So a car can have a make, and that will be a string. It can have a model, which will also make a string and another string color. Now in Eclipse, we can automatically generate some of the code that we need for the, this car class. So first let's generate a constructor. So say source, generate constructor using fields. And then we choose the fields that we want to include in the constructor. So I'll include all three, make, model, and color. And then we have a constructor which takes in the parameters for make, model, and color and sets the, param sets the properties in the object when we construct it. We can also do source generate constructor from superclass and that will give us an, an empty constructor, one that doesn't take any parameters. But we don't want to use this here because we want to insist that we provide all three parameters, make, model, and color, when we generate our car class. So I'll just make a couple of car classes. So car, car1 equals new car. I will make this a Ford. The model can be a Mondeo. And the color can be silver. And I'll make another car2. And I'll make this a Vauxhall Corsa. And I'll make this one red. So there we've made two cars, car one and car two, with the, uh, with the different parameters for each. Now, if we want to, it's typical to make um, properties of an object private because then we know they're safe inside that object. But when we want to access it, we can do it via getter methods. And we can also set things via setter methods. So here I'm going to go source generate getters and setters. Now I can choose which properties I want to generate the code for. And I can also say I want to do all the getters or all the setters. But I'm just going to do them all. So I'm going to have a getter and a get getter and a setter for each property of car. So now we've generated the methods get make, which returns the string make, set make, which sets the make to be the make that we pass in. And we've got the same for model and we've got the same for color. So now I can access these so I can, for example, say system out print line car ones make is car one get make and I can also do the same for model and color So there we're just running through doing the getters out of car one. Car one's make is Ford, the model is Mondeo, the color is silver. Now I can also do the setters. So for example, I could say car one set color. Maybe I made a mistake when I constructed it and it's actually green. So I can set the value of the color for car one to green and now car one's color is green. Now the, the thing about generating getters and setters, maybe we want the make to be fixed, for example. If we delete the set make method, then we know that we can't set that make via this uh, via the setter method. So we can control access to the uh, properties inside the class. and We can make getters and setters according to what we want to be able to do to the object. 
Another useful thing is the two string method. So if I just generate source generate two string, every object in Java has a two string method. So we're overriding the two string in object and we've made the two string method with the field. So now we can just treat the class like a string. So I'll get rid of the set color in car and just system out print line car one. And I'll also system out print line car two. And this will use the two string method. And we can see the properties of car one, Ford, Mondeo, Silver, and car two, Vauxhall, Corso, Red. Now I can change this two string method. So for example, I can say, make it more friendly to see. So I could say, um, color space make space model. And now the two string method will return silver Ford Mondeo and red Vauxhall Corsa. And one useful thing about that is if we're debugging, so for example, I'm going to debug this program now, go into the debug view. And then if I look at car one, I can see what comes out of the two string method. So I can see silver Ford Mondeo car two is null now, but there it's red voxel Corsa. So in debugging, it can help to redefine the two string method. So that's the uh, getters and setters and constructors and the two string method. Uh, if you're having, if you're creating objects that represent items or entities or things in a database, something like that, you're likely to be using this sort of thing a lot. So thanks for watching.